hey what's up guys this is kd cloudy and i already made a video about lineage os a while back but those were just my first impressions and it wasn't really up to the mark back then but uh, last week i reflashed it on my nexus 5 and i gave it a shot again and not only that i went the extra mile and i took my dad's modo x and flashed lineage os on that too and after thoroughly testing both of these here is my final verdict okay now many major complaints initially were regarding the mediocre performance and battery life and the lack of new features. Uh, let's talk about the performance first. It's been awesome. I'm not kidding, this thing has been snappy as hell. I have thus far seen no lags, any kind of freezing or any memory management issues, absolutely nothing. But one thing to know is that the performance did slow down a bit when the battery was low, but except for that, this might as well be the best performing custom ROM I have used in a while. And it's the same for the Moto X and the Nexus 5, both with 2 gigs of RAM and everything worked virtually perfectly. And even according to my dad, he too noticed some significant performance gains over stock Marshmallow. Now next, the battery life. Both the Nexus and Moto X have been giving some astounding battery life. I mean, best in class for any custom ROM. I was constantly getting almost three hours on heavy usage, but easily about three and a half hours or even sometimes four hours of screen on time or light use. And also on a side note, the pre-installed wallpapers which come with this, are straight up baller, I mean they look, they're so pretty, but not that it matters or anything but it's a nice little touch. Now as I used it even more, it's it, it was almost baffling for me to see how stable this ROM is, honestly. And I haven't been able to find any sort of bugs and even the old charging bug, it's fixed right now. And also one weird thing which I found which is quite surprising is Snapchat actually works in this ROM. I don't know, it's really weird, it doesn't work in any other ROM but it just did for linear, so there's that. And the update screen looks much, much better now. It's really clean, and the ROM seems almost perfect at this point, but it's definitely not perfect. So the main problems regarding the battery life and the performance were the only things which were changed, and the rest of the things are basically the same. So my opinion on the features or the lack thereof is basically the same as before but I have also realized that it's not that big of a deal it's not a bad thing that they have lesser features I mean it would have definitely been great to see more features but oh well but most of this stuff is now built into Android so uh, no point basically but apart from that it yet ships with these bloat pre-installed AOSP apps and that means I have two apps for every function I don't really like these and I can't see it enough but I won't go too much about it because uh, they are easy to remove once you've rooted but yeah speaking of root it's again not out of the box like cyanogen mod i mean cyanogen mod was famous for having root out of the box but th this uh, it would have been great to have root but well what else can we do so overall i can say that lineage os has been shaping up to be a great rom building on the strong foundations and the legacy of cyanogen mod it's not perfect but it's definitely worth flashing despite its shortcomings. So yeah, the final verdict is that this is one of the best ROMs for the Nexus 5, worth flashing, and kudos to the Lineage OS developers team for pulling off such a good ROM despite all the problems, and I can't wait for Lineage OS 15 already. Thank you so much for watching, catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.